Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me going with Q2 of the Bi-Weekly Contest 75, Find Triangular Sum of an Array. So this one is just a simulation. Um, the key thing to note is that n is less than, or is, is a thousand, and this is going to take at most n square, or n square over two, if you will, roughly speaking, because you can see that it goes from five to four to three to one, to, uh, to two to one, which is obviously just some of the first um, n numbers or tri the triangle numbers, and... And yeah, and that way you know that's going to be fast enough, so you just have to... You, there are a couple of ways you can do it. You could do it with like DP dynamic programming uh, style. Um, the way that I did it, I just simulated, if you will. I just create the next row, and then I return it, and I just keep going until there's one row left, and I return the answer. Um, this is going to be... Uh, so, yeah, this loop will take all of n time, and this loop will take um, all of n time. Um, so that is basically how, how it goes. Uh, yeah, I mean, there is actually um, a linear, so this is n square, right? Quadratic um, all of n square space, I used to do it, the way that I did it. You could actually do it in linear space, very trivially. But, um, but yeah, um, but there is actually a, a maybe linear time solution even though it may be a little bit trickier to implement. The key idea of be behind the, the the better solution, if you will, uh, is just that, um, you, and this is from pa uh, Pascal's triangle, right? You know that, the, for example, looking at this, this graph, you know that, uh, can't highlight it very well, you know that the first um, cell contribute once to the final answer. The second is, uh, well, in this case, it is, what is it? Uh, one, two, 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 two. This is four, this is six, four, one, or something like that, right? Is that right? Maybe I'm getting that wrong. But idea is still like Pascal's triangle. So if you draw Pascal's triangle, and then you have, you end up with like uh, four choose zero, four choose one, four choose two, four choose three, four choose four, and then that's the contribution to the final answer. And then you could do a sum that way. Of course, it's going to be more tricky and nuanced, and of course, you, you know, uh, uh, solving that. So, uh, uh, you know, x over y, or oh, sorry, n choose y, uh, n choose c uh, solution isn't easy either. But, but in theory, you can do it, especially if you have, um, you know, if you have something pre-processed or something like that. But uh, eh, I guess maybe it's not, it's not that easy though. But, but conceptually, that's an idea to play around with uh, mathematically. So yeah. Uh, anyway, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Uh, you could watch me solve it live during the contest. Next. If it times out, then I guess it'd be sad. But... Hey, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Thanks for your support. I'll see you later, and good luck on the next contest or whatever. Bye-bye.